everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm just going to do a simple uh, flip and drag, flip, drag and lip. It's a real easy pour. It's a good pour for beginners. And uh, what I'm doing is this is the challenge of the week from Artist Haven, Tish at the Artist Haven. And let's go over my paints. Uh, Tish did pick the color palette. So my, um, my base coat is just going to be Artist Love Flow Acrylic White. And here is all the colors. You can see it's a real pretty uh, color palette. My first color, or my next color is um, Amsterdam Yellowish Green. This pretty light green color is a combination of Artist Loft Green Yellow and Liquitex Basics Camium Yellow Medium Hue. My next paint, this pretty blue paint, is Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue. And this orange is a combination of three different paints. First of all, I took two Amsterdams. I took the Vermilion and then the Expert line of Amsterdam, their permanent orange, those two together. And then I just added a little dab of the Chromalin uh, Acrylic Essentials Raw Sienna. Just to brown it up just a tad, not quite so bright. And this pretty red color here at the end is again a combination of Blick Bright Red and Deco Art Festive Red. Okay, my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, um, and a squirt of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. I added a little bit of water. Let's show you here with this green, not a lot because it is a flip and drag and it can be a little bit on the thicker side. Just leaves a little, little trace there. No silicone used today. So what I'm gonna do is stop the camera, put down my base coat. I think I'm gonna fill three cups today and I am looking for negative space. So I'll get that started and then bring you back and we'll get to painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my Artist Love Flow Acrylic White. I have my three cups filled. Two cups, I filled layers exactly the same and they'll be on the outside. And then the middle one I did opposite. So let's just uh, flip our cups here. There's one, two, and three. And we'll just let them sit there, let that paint run down a little bit. And I have even seen some artists poke a little hole in the top to really help that paint flow down the cup. Some pretty colors coming out here. And by poking that hole, you can see that some of them are trying to travel on me here. The one in the middle anyway. I am hoping to get some negative space here today. We'll just have to see how it goes. And I am going to just give it a little twist here. There's our first cup. Let's give this a little twist too. And our second cup, very pretty colors. And our third cup. Just let that set there a minute. And now I could do some lipping. And Karen from Waterfall Acrylics is the first artist I saw do this lipping. You just take the lip of your cup and run it through your paint just to give the eye a little something extra to look at. And 
and I'll do it on this one also. And let's do it on this last one. And I'm not going to torch right away. I think I will start tipping before I do any torching. Just going to, a couple of big air bubbles here. Can pop those. So let's just start some tipping. And I am going to tip. I'll turn it so you can see this. Plenty of paint. I may end up with not a lot of negative space here today. Let me go over to this corner here, this far corner. And bring it back. And I'll get this far corner over here. And bring that back. I am getting cell action, and that's from the flow trawl. And I will go over this corner and bring that back. And I will not have negative space today other than the white that is was between the cups, which I, I do like to do that if I can. And we'll go off that edge over there, the far edge. We'll take a little more off. And bring that back. And I'm going to tip it this way a little bit. And down. A little bit, take a little more of that paint off there. Okay. And now bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it. A lot of pretty lacing going on here also. I am going to torch it now. There are some areas that I still would like to tip off. But let's see what we get when we torch. Okay, I'm going to see what I have left in my cup here. If I have anything. I'm just going to run a bead of paint. Right around in here. And I may do some more tipping here. Okay, 
and I may use my skewer a little bit too to uh, add a little bit something to this painting. I'm going to tip tip down in that corner because I really don't care for that that corner at all. I'm gonna do some tipping, try and tip some of that off. Okay, and I'll bring that back. And it's okay if these lines get kind of wonky. It's fine with me. And I will bring it back a little bit this way. Okay, take another look at it here. I'm gonna check my corners, make sure they're covered. Okay. Some very pretty areas here. Let me point them out right in here. It looks kind of muted. Really pretty. And in here. Okay, what I'm going to do is take my littlest palette knife. And I'm just going to play with the paint here a little bit. Draw some of these lines out. Just have let the eye have a little something extra to look at here. Don't be afraid to play with your paintings. I really do like all these cells here. I will give it another torch. And I will get you down. Well, let me... I'm going to clean off the bottom of my um, painting here quick. A lot, a lot of pretty areas I'll have to show you on our close-up. Let me get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I did a flip, drag, and lip on. And this is the upper left-hand corner. You can see that muting right there. I think that really looks looks nice in there it's coming down the left hand side here some of that lacing very nice I 
And this is the lower left hand corner. Again, here's some of the lacing. Here's where it's really nice, where that orange and that greenish yellow played together and the red and all these cells. And this looks like candy in the middle. Just the difference in the way I layered those cups. Nice area in here. And in here, all these stripes. I think that turned out that turned out pretty neat. Now this is the middle, that cup that I layered exact opposite of the other the other two end cups more brighter you can um see the lacing in here that green lacing that came up looks pretty nice down in here you can really see it lots of bigger cells here colorful area in here Nice up in here too. And this is the upper right hand corner here. This is where the blue and the green decided to come out here. Some interesting cells in there. This is just coming down the right hand side. This is a real simple type pour that beginners could try. It's a lot of fun. Pretty in here. In the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Uh, make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would help my channel grow. And if you would like to, please check out Tisha's channel, The Artist's Haven. She goes live five days a week, and uh, it was her color palette I used today for this challenge. Thank you, Tish, for the challenge. It was a lot of fun. Very colorful palette, as you all can see. So until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.